thanks for tuning in. This is Octavonis Commission with another video review. And today we're going to be taking a look at the new Transformers Generation Voyager Class Autobot Whirl. A really weird looking figure that a lot of people seem to love. I don't know if I will or not. Because I, I, again, have no connection to this because the, a lot of the, well, I guess, prominence form has come from the recent IDW comics. But as you can see, you got a nice image right here that kind of carries over onto the other side. You got the open face. You can see him. You can see a ton of different weapons. He's got three modes, um, which one is kind of weird. You got series two, figure number six. Come around here to the back. You got his technical data, as well as his uh, null ray cannon. His weapons do combine together. And then you got the three different modes. You got his robot mode, his helicopter mode, and a uh, heloped mode, which it, 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 it's a gerwalk mode. That That's really all it is. And it says the daredevil flying style of Autobot Whirl might make it look like he could crash at any moment. But he's in total control. The mere sight of him over the battlefield is enough to send enemies running for cover, trying to reach a safe distance before he crashes. Any Decepticons unlucky enough to stick around give him a chance to take his null ray cannons out for a spin. As I said, this is a character that, that mostly gets a lot of his existing fandom, I guess, because of the, the recent comics. So this is one that, much like uh, Scoop and Armada Starscream, a, a lot of these characters that are coming out now I, I don't have a lot of knowledge about them. So I'm just taking a look at these based on the, the toys themselves. Without further ado, let's get this guy open and see how cool he actually is. All right, guys, so here we have the new Transformers Generation Voyager Class World opened up out of its packaging and in his helicopter mode. Now, one thing that uh, is, well, I don't want to say new because they sort of started doing that with uh, Metroplex. Uh, you have some stickers here. Uh, as you can see, there's a bunch of stickers. Uh, according to this, like 19 stickers. A lot of them are warnings. You got a couple little red bits that go on the uh, the tips here. A couple Autobot logos. I, I don't like you, you got one Autobot logo. The smaller one goes on his shoulder, whereas the big one goes on the uh, the cock or the the canopy here i guess you would call it uh i'm not a big fan of having two right there so i probably won't even use the the, the smaller one i'll probably just have the the big one right here which will probably look weird um i don't know we'll, we'll, we'll take a look so uh there's the stickers though so let's get these on this guy and boom stickers now the the thing that i really like about it is the stickers are very minor i, I mean it's it's going to be hard to even show them to i mean these are the ones that that really stick out these bits here on the tips and you got the little bits right here but it's a lot of warnings that have a really nice clear background so it matches perfectly uh, you do have the, I, I did put the, the big Autobot logo right there at the very top um, like I said a lot of them are just warnings you come around here you got like this sticker that says battery compartment uh, there, there's not much but it's just subtle little details that I really do appreciate you got little stickers right here which I find funny because it says do not paint uh, all of them say something so uh, you got a couple here on the uh, here let me lift this up on the actual canopy or cockpit whatever it is you can sort of see them through there oh, maybe not if I zoom in you can sort of make them out there's a little sticker there and there and then there's the Autobot logo come around on the other side and you got the stickers on the opposite side as well but really very nice like i said some stickers there you got it's it's hard to see let me get these weapons unpegged and out of the way uh you got a couple little stickers right in there it's again hard to see I'm about as zoomed in as i can possibly get you can sort of see it says access point and then um i, I can't even tell what that says but you got a sticker there come around on the other side and again you got those same stickers uh right on there you got some stickers uh, right there. Again, sorry about the, the, the focus here, guys. It's not wanting to focus too close because they're tiny. And uh, you got a little sticker right up there. But again, you can see how it blends in nicely. And then you got a little sticker right up there at the top of it. Got a sticker right there. So a lot of nice little stickers. Like I said, you got the do not paint sticker right there. A lot of really nice ones. Uh, but uh, there there you have them in this helicopter mode. Now, as you can see, these uh, th there's all sorts of different clips on here. You got clips here. You got little clips here. You got pegs here. Um, I guess you could maybe clip something on here. Uh, but uh, getting that, well, how did I have that? I think I had it like that there we go uh, so however you really wanted to uh, use the weapons you, you could uh, they can all sort of combine into one massive gun one thing that's really interesting is this one here 
Uh, well, this one actually pegs onto his hand, and then you can see you got all these other little points that you can clip on uh, a whole bunch of, the, like, well, pretty much all these weapons on here. So we'll show that off here a bit, but you got this one right here. For some reason, you can see a little pin going through there. So I'm not 100% sure why they had that. It doesn't rotate or separate or anything like that. I have no earthly idea of why they would put a pin through there as if it's supposed to rotate. So the only thing I can think of is they're planning on reusing this at some point in time in the future for a, another weapon or something, but there you have that. So setting these off all to the side. Uh, helicopter mode, though, it is actually pretty nice. Uh, one, one thing that I will say is that, uh, like I said before, th this character has gotten a lot of uh, resurgence in the recent IDW comics. He was the, in, in in G1. Now, when I say he was in G1, what I really mean is he was in the original Marvel comics. Uh, he did get a toy, and the toy is very similar, sort of, to this. A very similar color scheme and everything. Uh, robot mode, he looks a little bit different, but it, it's a nice representation and a nice update to that G1 toy. So, I do dig that. Uh, it, it's never, it's not a toy that I had as a kid, and I never read the comic books for Transformers when I was a kid, so... Uh, I, I have no knowledge of this character. Like I said, he is more uh, prevalent now in the, in the new IDWs. He's got a bit of a resurgence, and a lot of people really like him. For me, he's a little weird looking, uh, but we'll, we'll, we'll touch on that. But helicopter mode, really nice. You obviously have the working propellers uh, going back and forth, and get both of these spinning nicely. I mean, you, you do have, well, that one stopped. Uh, you do have that. You have a, a little rail right here. He doesn't have landing gear. He, he just lands like that, which I guess that makes sense. I, I, I suppose it could work. You don't really need landing gear. He's not coming in for a landing, so he's a... There, boom, he lands. So, uh, but other than that, pretty nice look, and I, I do dig it. I, I like he's, how he's got like this little thruster here, although I don't know why he would have a thruster there because the thruster would like melt this, wouldn't it? In, in theory, I, I guess, maybe that should be down the bottom. I don't know, but it, you're just thinking that there's like a lot of heat coming from here. It's probably going to put a lot of pressure and melt this bit here. What, and what do I know? I'm not an aviation expert. So, um... There you have it for his helicopter mode. Now, uh, as I said, he does have a girdwalk mode or what they call a heloped mode, I guess. that That's what we're going to call it. So what you want to do uh, to go to that transformation, and it's just natural to kind of go to that and then to the robot mode. So we're going to go to the heloped mode. Just want to loosen these up, untab that from the side, and angle that out just like that. And then you'll be able to loosen these legs and swivel these down. Then you want to take this whole section here and this goes back and rotate these legs right there like so. Uh, then take this section here, you want to lift this and then when you lift that up, kind of loosen this whole thing up and then you can pull this all the way down, fold that up and then this comes up and clicks and locks into place. Uh, then kind of angle these legs. <laughs> One thing that's funny, he really does remind me of the Ed 209. So do that here as well. Loosen that. You can fold this down then. Then bring this up. Lock that into place like so. Uh, then literally you just rotate his arms around. Kind of like so. Rotate that. You can then take these uh, little hands or whatever and... Now, there we go. Pull these out. Do that on this side as well. Like that. And uh, this is this is where you would see his uh, his uh, other smaller, or right up here would be his other smaller uh, Autobot logo. We'll show that off here more in the, uh, the full-on robot mode, but getting it like that. Then take this section, detach this, and then coming underneath here, you got a little tiny long peg that this is going to go into. So bring that up. Lock that into place just like so. And here's his the helo ped mode. Uh, like I said, it, it reminds me of an Ed 209. Uh, and that it is, it's actually kind of cool looking like that, I guess. I mean, you got the, the whole arm sort of thing going on, which it, we'll, we'll touch on here in, in a little bit for more of the, the robot mode again. Um, his legs, you got them rotating. The only real reason why you slide this back is for this gerwalk mode. So that's kind of neat. And then if you want to, you can rotate these around. You can take this and slide these in here. I never actually, I have, honestly have not even connected. There we go. You can peg that in there, um, something like that. Oops, peg that in there, I guess. And uh, does it actually 
it doesn't seem to stay in there all that terribly well so it, it just kind of rests in there so you can have him walking around with a, a gun on that arm and then you've got his little pinchers on this side so um there, there's his girl walk mode uh, you can have a helicopter you could put that back and have that dangle I, whatever you want to do you you can this is your toy you can do whatever you want with the toy so there you have his girl walk mode it's, i do dig it i, I think it's neat now going to his uh, actual robot mode we're just gonna take this off come around here to the bottom going to extend this back out just kind of flop it right there take this entire uh leg assembly slide that forward and then you want to bring them all the way down you do want to actually to get them chicken legged you have to bend it uh, at a very tight joint right up here you got two different ones you got a lower one and an upper one the upper one is very tough to get uh, just kind of put a little bit of pressure here with your thumb and push and then it's pretty easy but you get the uh <laughs> A real chicken leg look which is uh, accurate and and how we should look so set that there and then take this section lift this up a little bit and then you can rotate this back you want to take this entire section separate this this is on a bit of a gear mechanism you can see right down here you can uh, fold it in and bring it out and it's on that whole gear section so just spreading that apart take these get these bent around uh, bring this whole section down and then you have to take this and this is a little bit difficult uh, not really all that difficult but you, you have to spread this out and then bring this up and this accordions inside the back and then you can let's see if I can get that in there uh, right inside there not that hole just below it there's an elongated slot that you take this and you actually peg that into that kind of locks it into place not really it just sits there but uh, fold that down keep that all the way like so and then bring this down bring his arms out now one thing that i would like to say is that sometimes i get annoyed with uh, some people in the fandom and they basically criticize people because this is actually mistransformed leaving it like this is incorrect despite the fact that the instructions show you this what you're actually supposed to do is take this as entire assembly and uh, make sure that you rotate this around so that uh, you can still get the the outer movement this entire little rod pushes in so push that in like so and keeping it like that if, if you have it upside down it'll lock it and, and you won't be able to do anything this is the the actual way that it's supposed to be the instructions do not show that and when you look at it there's no way that you would really be able to tell that you're supposed to push that in so i get annoyed when people in the fandom criticize people that for taking pictures and horribly mistransforming them uh, i know that the the owner of cybertron or sabertron however you say it i think it's actually pronounced sabertron got a lot of flack because his official pictures which are always phenomenal looking had the arm like this and people complained and whined because he had it wrong there's nothing in the instructions to show you this and like i said there's no reason why you would look at a ball joint in there and think that it's supposed to collapse in so that it does go in it, it is nice that it does that it, it brings the arms a little bit better uh into his body and looks nicer i think but this is the prop, uh, proper transformation and if you want to go even a little bit further to make him look more accurate to how he looks in the cartoon this is supposed to extend up um it's it's very minor but you got a little tiny joint right there because his neck is just elongated in the in the comics but here you have whirl and honestly <laughs> there's two different schools of thought Num number one he's very weird looking to me uh he, he looks like a generic robot uh he transforms obviously but he doesn't really give me a feel of a transformer because he looks very droid ish uh he's got a very that shockwave one eye thing going with a tremendous amount of light piping i don't know how well that's going to come across but tremendous amount of light piping in there uh so he has that going for him uh he also has these really long arms and these claws uh, down here which are strange and then you got the chicken leg it's it, it just it really has a very awkward 
looking robot mode. And, and I, I'm, I'm just so used to seeing more humanoid looking Transformers that th it, it really kind of throws me off. Now, don't get me wrong, I actually do like it. The, the reason I like it is because it is unique and it is different. Uh, also, this uh, this bit right here, his little antenna thing moves a little bit and, and when you want to put it back, uh, I didn't show that, but when you transform them, you, you kind of want to leave it forward just to kind of give a little clearance and make sure things don't get caught. So put that back just like so. Uh, but then the other thing that you're noticing is right here is where I would have the, the second Autobot logo. But like I said, when you have that one right there, I, I don't think you need to have one there. So I actually put it on, on, on this guy because he needed an Autobot logo on his chest. But Whirl is, is strange for me. It, it, it's I, I don't think he looks bad. Like I said, it just it is very unique looking. So I, I like that, but it also puts me off. So it's really hard to articulate how I feel about this figure. Uh, like I said, he does come with all these weapons that you can take this, you can fold his uh, little hands around, take this whole section here, you can kind of group that right there. Oh, here, let's put it this way. So it makes it a little bit easier. So you got that. Um, and then all these little points, you can come around here and clip them. Uh, or clip things to it. So let's see, you can put this here. Uh, you can take this thing here. Here, let's see. How, how can I uh, attach this in weird, random ways? Uh, let's see. Well, all right, it doesn't, there, there's not a lot of real good combinations for it. So just, <laughs> I'm gonna just throw that down there. So uh, take that and uh, you can just put that in there and you have a, a little bit of a gun sort of thing. Uh, he really can't hold these anywhere else, uh, honestly. Um, not not that I can really see. I mean, you, you have these clips on his arms that you can uh, clip underneath if you if you wanted to. So you could do something along these lines, I I, I would imagine. Um, let's see, where else can, where can, where can I put you? Yeah, well, uh, He's got to have another hole somewhere. Let's see. <laughs> uh, well, uh, all right, we're just going to set that there. So he's got these little uh, missiles that you can undersling underneath them if you want to. Uh, and you have, well, well, maybe actually, let's see. You take that, put that uh, there. There we go. All right. Hey, hey, what do we got? No, do I got it? Do I have a, no, I don't really have a very good combination. So whatever you want to do, there, there's his, uh, his, his weapons. Um, it's weird. It's, it's the, the, the whole weapon system here. I, I just, I'm, I'm not a real huge fan of now. Uh, some people were complaining about the chicken like thing. You don't have to do the chicken like thing if you really don't want. And it kind of makes it look a little bit better actually, because when you do the, the chicken leg and the proper transformation for it, you get the, the ugly hollow thigh bits. You can actually rotate this all the way around. You'd have to straighten this out. It kind of then gives him a normal folding knee. Uh, but uh, what, what you end up having though, is a kind of a weird toe thing here uh, now at, at botcon that's actually how they had it in in the display case so a lot of people thought that that's how it was supposed to be uh, but it's it's weird looking but it, it actually looks better because you got the the closed thigh here so it, it's it's personal preference uh I, I do i do like the the uniqueness of the uh the chicken like thing it's it's not something that's ever really bugged me despite i know a lot of people not liking that aesthetic in the movie so i think if if the movie aesthetic bugs you this is probably a figure that's n not going to do well for your your collection i don't think but i still think he looks good so articulation wise his head is on this real nice ball joint so you get a nice range of motion with it uh, like i said you can keep it all the way down it's your personal preference uh the the shoulders are not meant to be ball jointed so if you leave that out you, you do have the ball joint it's it's again your preference. Uh, they can move in and out. They rotate all the way around. He rotates at the upper part of the uh, the elbow. He's got two points here at the elbow as well to move forward and back. The uh, claws are connected, so you move one out and the other one comes out, which is actually pretty nice. No uh, waist articulation. The hips move forward and back. They move in and out, rotate at the upper part of the thigh, and then, like I said, you got two joints here at the, the actual knee. Uh, the lower one is much easier to manipulate than the top one, so you're not going to break it. It does feel like you're going to for the longest time. Uh, I thought that I was going to, but 
you don't and it's it's pretty durable so it's a very sturdy joint so don't feel too afraid of actually bending it now to uh, transform him back we're going to go to his gerwalk mode so first what you're going to want to do like i said take the little antenna fold it forward kind of set the uh, head down come around here to the back take this whole section lift this up extend this uh, out and pull this 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 part here you're like wedging things in and it's it doesn't feel like this extends all the way out like you need it to so you're, you're kind of pushing things but it, it comes out fairly easily then connect that just like that bring this up well actually sorry you want to connect that over his head so leaving his head down bring this up over his head come on why aren't you no because that thing's getting in the way all right and that whole section doesn't want to work with me work all right so fold that up and over then you bring that together just like so uh now bringing these down straighten these arms out you do uh, probably want to extend these out for the the gerwalk mode it gives you a little bit more range of motion for it easier to articulate uh, again in in terms of the the instructions i don't know if that's how it's supposed to be so i'm just going with what i like fold this back Take this section, bring this up, tuck that into place, and here you have him back in his gerwalk mode. And uh, you do have a little hole underneath here, so you can take a cannon uh, or one of his guns if you want to and put down. That's kind of weird looking. Uh, here, let's try that side. Although this, it's a little bit long. Uh, no, it, it fits there, I guess. So you could do something like that, or you could put one of these uh, missile pod launchers underneath there. Uh, so. Again, personal preference in, in how you want to armor this guy up. So really nice. And uh, there's his gerwalk mode, I guess. You could rotate that back out and have your little Ed 209 bot. And then from here, what we're going to do is we're going to just get these arms straightened out, out of the way. We're going to rotate the, uh, the little fingers or hands, whatever you want to call them, get those rotated, then uh, straighten out these legs. Uh, like I said, that joint is really tight but don't worry you're not gonna break it bring this up you're gonna tuck this underneath just uh like so then you can bring these back and you have to rotate these around and kind of fiddle with this rotate the uh so you're getting the ball joint to line or this little rod here to line up here and then you can bring this and you can see where the uh, little slot is on the inside there that that peg is going to go into so do that there do that there again rotate that around get it pulled in it's kind of a a little annoying but you just keep rotating until you get it and then rotate these uh, out like so do that on this side as well keep that nice and tight then extend these legs all the way forward uh, take these little heels tuck these up and then push this all the way up and you're going to collapse that all the way in do that on this side as well tighten that up or loosen that up bring that all the way up lock that down just like so then rotate these so that the uh little they're, you're rotating it at the upper part of the thigh so these little fins are actually out so do that on this side as well and then when, when you bring it in there's a little slot right uh, right there and you got a little nub that sticks out here it doesn't really do much you're supposed to line that up and put that there that's basically where you want these to be but it doesn't hold it in or anything so what you're going to do here then because of this double joint you got this little uh, bit right there that that is going to fold into so just bring that in tuck that in push that all the way and that locks into place do that on this side as well line that up Boom, brings it in. And like I said, it locks these uh, legs into place. Those little tabs up here don't really do much of anything. Then rotate this around. And again, you, you can put these uh, however you really want them. Uh, I kind of like that underneath there. Although it doesn't really go up very far, does it? No, it doesn't. I'm talking to myself. So it kind of goes there. Uh, you can take this. You can put that there uh, let's see is there another one with a little hole yeah i guess this one kind of here that's kind of dorky looking here i'm gonna put this here there we go we'll put that little gun thing there and then um this under there although it that looks even more goofy 
so you, you got all these different little bits that you can, like I said, play with and uh, line things up. But and who cares? We're gonna I'm gonna take that out. Then maybe I'll just no that doesn't have an actual peg in there. So I guess I do have to leave it like that if I want the missiles on there. But there you have Whirl back in his helicopter mode now. Despite the fact that I think that he, he really doesn't feel much like a Transformer because he doesn't look that humanoid sort of shape, he still is a fun figure. And honestly, I didn't think I was going to like him all that much. But playing with him in Transformer, he really has grown on me. I mean, helicopter mode is a really sharp looking helicopter. I mean, it's very simple. I mean, I guess you could kind of say that this is a little bit ugly, how you got the, the gap there and you had that on both sides. It's not... A, a, a huge affront to mother nature or anything but it, 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 it's it's kind of weird looking but it's not bad the transformation is fun the, the instructions don't really help you out very much but you you can see that he looks a little bit better when he is properly transformed and then robot mode as i said it's weird looking but weird in a good way so other, I mean, other than that, really, I do like the guy, and I highly recommend picking him up. So if you are interested in getting him, go ahead and click on the link down in the video description. You'll go to Big Bad Toy Store where you can pick this guy up and add him to your collection today. But beyond that, that's about it, guys. So once again, I want to thank you for tuning in. This has been Optobotomous. Keep in touch with me. Find out recent purchases as well as all upcoming video reviews all at Facebook.com slash TeamBotomous. And by following me over on Twitter at Twitter.com slash Optobotomous. Also, don't forget to check out my new website at OptobotomousReviews.com. And if you like this review, don't forget to please rate, subscribe, and share this video. And until next time, I'll talk to you later.